What's up? We're Mayday Parade. You're watching TV6. Who has been your favorite band to tour with so far? That's really hard to say. That's really hard to pick one because we've we've, <laughs> cause we've toured with a lot of bands and like it's been it's been so awesome. We've been so lucky that like there hasn't been a single band we've toured with that we haven't like got along with really well and become really good friends with. So it seems like each tour it becomes more fun. Yeah, seems like I think one of the was probably Six City. Six City was an amazing band to tour with. Six City, Blue Eyes, uh, Driver's Side Impact, We the Kings, We Can Make It. It's really how did you overcome it? Our biggest challenge. I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't think of. Getting signed. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess the start. Oh, yeah, labels and uh, and uh, just getting our getting our name out there, getting our that initial step. And luckily, we we you know had the idea had the idea of doing Warp Tour and like selling our CDs outside. At Warp Tour, and that was probably that was pro that was probably this, one of the biggest things that helped move, like push us and make our career. You know, if we hadn't have done that, I don't, I'm not too sure like where we would be right now. But that was probably one of the biggest challenges. Yeah, I agree with that. How's the Manhors Open Source Tour coming along? It's awesome. It's so much fun. Uh, I feel, I mean, this is going to sound dumb, but I feel more homosexual hanging out with those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I went into it thinking that I was going to hate, absolutely hate all time low. <laughs> but I actually like, he's, I think he's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're all awesome guys. So it's just like a nonstop hanging out with your friends and having a good time. And the show has been amazing too, so it's just perfect. What are your rehearsals like? Uh, we practice out at Jeremy's house, and uh, usually, uh, whenever we're home and we're actually like spending a lot of time either writing or rehearsing or whatever, it's usually about five or six days a week that we practice, and um, we just go out there and what's up? We like to take like two hour breaks and sit on Cabbage's front porch and yeah. drink iced sweet tea. tea. Or, yeah, sweet tea. We, yeah, we sit on Cabbage's front porch and drink sweet tea like half the time we're there. Talk about just random talk random about random stuff. stuff. That's yeah, a we lot of it. For Thirty minutes. <laughs> we practice more. <laughs> what was your favorite year and experience from Warp Tour? Um, actually playing it like was definitely a lot better than following it, you know. So this the most recent one. Um, I don't know. One of the one of the coolest experiences for me was um, you know how we we had followed it and sold CDs the year before, and then this time we were doing a signing. Like every day we'd set up signings and kids would come up and we'd do autographs and stuff. And there was a girl that came up to me and said that just a year ago. I had been like following her in the parking lot, like trying to like talk her into buying our CD for five dollars, and then now she was like waiting in line for like an hour just to like get my autograph, you know. And I was like, man, that was, that was really just like a made you kind of realize like how far we had come in a year, you know. So that was really really cool. Do you have what advice do you have for bands like just getting started, want to make it big? Just to work hard, you know, to definitely like give it all you got it's not really just going to happen to you you have to make it happen you know don't give up if you give up nothing's going to happen so mm -hmm. definitely uh, to keep writing songs and because that's what that's what everybody's looking for is good songs how do you prepare every night for a show um <coughs> recently we it's been different uh we just had vocal training so us three we tend to uh for like 25 minutes we'll do vocal warm-ups, a lot of random noises that don't make any sense if you hear us, um, yeah. a lot of stretching. I know you warm up your fingers yeah. on guitar. I like to try and stretch my fingers and get ready for the show. Yeah, we just get we get our show clothes on, warm up, and make sure everybody's good to go, and then... We also have like a little bro-down session, a little, where ritual. We, a little ritual where we put our hands in a circle and, and say some, you know... And some uh, some inspiring kind of kind of things, and then at the end we, we go one two three bang ring, and that's kind of like the banging like from like from like from Hook Peter Pan. Yeah, it's supposed to like pop us up. 